So you took the young chick and the old hens are squawking about it, Shannon. The kid deserved it, no kidding, but She's 17, less, a month less than 17, so it's serious. Very serious, because the kid's not just emotionally precocious, but she's a musical prodigy, too. The Night of the Iguana is considered by a lot of people, um, including myself, as Tennessee Williams' last great play. There's a lot of people who think, a lot of Williams aficionados, who think that um, it is the last play in the trilogy, in, in a trilogy that starts with Glass Menagerie, in the middle of the trilogy, A Streetcar Named Desire, and ends with Night of the Iguana, which is basically a autobiographical journey on those three plays uh, from William's life, his journey through life, um, his struggles with his uh, with sexual identity, uh, with spiritual connection, and that if you travel all three, put all three plays together, you get a sense of his journey as an artist. What's that got to do with it? Here's what that's got to do with it. She is traveling under the wings of military escort of a butch vocal instructor who organizes little <laughs> community sings in the bus. <laughs> uh, the central figure of uh, the Night of the Iguana is Reverend Lawrence T. Shannon, who is a minister, I believe an Episcopalian minister, who has not been defrocked, but has been locked out of his church for um, immoral behavior with parishioners, and he has now been descended to conducting tours uh, with a company called Blake Tours, which is a bottom-rate tour company through Mexico. Um, and basically his life has fallen apart. He is given to cracking up several times in his life, and this is a major crack-up. Um, he is, uh, and he finds himself at this hotel because when he does go through these anxiety attacks and these breakdowns and his life spins out of control, he, his friend Fred, he must talk to his friend Fred who works at this hotel and is married to Maxine, the proprietress. He gets to the hotel and finds out that Fred is dead and therefore starts his long night of the soul. Which is the, the Baptist female college ladies think is filled with ice water, but which I know is filled with ice tequila. <laughs> I mean, after such a day has finally come to a close, the little, little Miss Bird girl opens her mouth and, and out flies, a, she will give a perfect rendition, ear-splitting rendition of Carrie Jacobs Bonds and of A Perfect Day with absolutely no humor. 